Authorities in the U.S. Uh, racing against time to understand how and why an assassin shot at a former U.S. President Donald J. Trump at a rally in Pennsylvania. The rally took place on the grounds of the Butler Farm Show in western Pennsylvania, about 56 kilometers outside Pittsburgh. At the Butler Rally, the assassin was spotted a mere 130 yards from the dais, with the Secret Service sniper neutralizing him after the assassin Thomas Matthews Crooks had taken his five shots. The assassin bullets missed Trump's head by a whisker, but it raises questions on the security provided to the former U.S. president. A U.S. official familiar with the investigation said the shooter used an AR-15-style semi-automatic rifle to carry out the attack. The FBI says the tragic incident is an active and an ongoing investigation. FBI Pittsburgh special agent in charge say the agency does not yet know the shooter's motive. This evening we had what we're calling an assassination attempt against our former president, Donald Trump. It's still an active crime scene. As I mentioned, we have a number of agents on scene. We also are working closely with other federal agencies, our state partners, and our local police partners as well. When asked if the shooter acted alone, Pennsylvania State Police said it was too early to answer the question. James R. Comer, a Kentucky Republican and chairman of the panel, has asked Kimberly Chittle, the director of the Secret Service, to testify at a hearing on July 22nd. The U.S. Secret Service, a federal law enforcement agency under the Department of Homeland Security, is tasked with protecting American politicians, their families and visiting heads of state and government. Chittle has headed the organization since September 2022 and has been director for the 27th time, succeeding James M. Murray. Republican lawmakers have said they will instigate and investigate how a person managed to evade Secret Service agents and climb onto the roof of a building during the election rally and fire multiple shots. A former Secret Service agent say the attack will certainly lead to a review of Trump's security and it will likely be provided with a level of protection more akin to a sitting president. For all the latest news, download the Wii on app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.